Hello and welcome to the lesson using the geostrophic wind scale to get the real wind at a certain position. Meaning I will demonstrate to you on how to use this method for getting the real wind. Because we know already that the geostrophic wind, it's not the real wind. So therefore we are checking the chart. This is a weather chart uh, from the Met Office in UK. And we can see that we have here the so-called geostrophic wind scale, which is uh, the result in knots and the intervals are four hectopascal. So which means we cannot use it for five hectopascal interval charts. And we can see also in this chart that we have the low and high pressure systems, but we do not have the direction the low pressure will move. And actually we do not have a, the, um, uh, the wind speed. The direction can be seen by the cross. It means from here to here, the low pressure will move. But uh, the wind speed is not known. And therefore, the wind speed for certain positions, if I like to have this, have to be uh, calculated. Therefore, we are calculating the geostrophic wind. And out of this, because we said 75% of the geostrophic wind is a real wind, we can now calculate the real wind. The so weather charts are also known as surface pressure or synoptic charts contain a lot of information that helps weather forecasters make predictions about the weather and sea conditions. So we have here the isobars, that means the lines of the same pressure, which are helping us later on to get the real wind, in the first place, the geostrophic wind. Prior departure, the master must have the actual surface chart for the next 24 hours on hand. That is mandatory. But it's always a good idea to study weather charts and work out how the weather is likely to evolve in the area you plan to sail in. The sequence um, of the synoptic uh, chart predictions are varying between 2400 surface uh, charts and forecast charts until 96 hours. So the last one is a more appreciated for a good and accurate voyage planning that means metrological wise. So which means you should have the forecast for 24, 48, 72 and 96 hours on hand and then you can and just uh, prepare your course there and then you know what will you position at this 48 or 70 or 9600 hours and then you know your weather conditions so that you can arrange your voyage accordingly for example if you have restricted uh, uh, transportation that means the ship should not exceed a certain wave height so but we will to explain now the geostrophic wind scale so we have four positions here, one, two, three or three positions where we like to get the uh, real wind. So what we can see here is that uh, the distance between these positions is a distance which I have to take. I take it either by a ruler or by a divider. So that is a distance here. But we can see this is the distance. So if I want to have the distance measured, I now place the ruler or the divider into the scale starting from the latitude. So which means I will start from here because here in the latitude and uh, there I have to start and I go to the right side. That is how we got this here. So that was our measure, either by the divider or by a ruler in centimeters. And then we place it there and we are coming. The, this line will intersect 40 knots wind speed. So 40 knots wind speed, actually, it's a geostrophic wind. 75% out of it is then the real wind and it's 30 knots or before 7. The wind direction is from this direction. So this is actually 180. This is direction is around about west, west, north, west. So the same we can do now for the position two and position three. Again, as we said here, I will take out the distance between the two isobars. And we can already see that this distance is by far larger than here. That means if I have here 30 knots wind speed, I cannot have here also 30 knots wind speed because the isobars are not close together. So that is only uh, for my pre-notice so that my uh, wind later on, if I can see that my real wind is also correct. So therefore we have at this position, geostrophic wind is 22 knots. We do the same as we have done it here before, because this is a distance. And if we got this distance, then actually we place a distance again in here. 
And we are coming then to 22 knots because this is my distance. And I will place it like here, that is 22 knots. Okay. So, and um, the um, next position, the next position is now this position number three. And we also can see that also here, there, the distance is by far uh, more than uh, especially here. And um, it's uh, not like here. It's, uh, it's a little bit closer. Therefore, my wind speed should be also different. But I do the same what I have done before. I place it in here again. So here from this 43 degrees, I'm starting and coming up to here. So that is actually the distance. Here yeah, I have getting out by taking the divider or the ruler hmm? in centimeters. So if I got this, then my result for this is 25 knots. Real wind is 19 knots. We have roundabout about for five and the direction is west, northwest. So this is actually how it works. Um, how we are using the geostrophic wind scale to get the real wind. So, and to see uh, other path, the weather animation for the next 48 hours, for example, we got this animation here, then we can see that the wind from 12, 24, 36 hours, 48 hours. Huh? So that is the animation. And then we can clearly see where the low pressures are moving. Huh? That is also a form how to use the weather chart. What I cannot use in this animation, I have always to stop it, is then the real wind. Another one is a digital weather forecast, like here. We can see here the wave wind, and this includes everything. So to just that you have an idea how it looks like. So that is actually how it looks like. And you see, we have here, for sure, um, and, uh, a very good um, presentation here of the wind. I can also see what will be my waves. Oh, let's see my waves. And we can also see here that my wave height here is about six meters, oh, going to eight meters. And if you go to Saturday, for example, you see the wave height is getting more and the wave moving in the direction because here we have a low pressure area, which is just um, developed and will move actually into the, um, into the English Channel or to Great Britain and will affect here as well. And our cook can see the, the wind, which is here, uh, or the wind here, for example, uh, so that I can see waves, 3.7 meters height, here 4.1 meter. So which means if I have a course and I should not exceed uh, a wave height of 3.5 meter or 3 meter, I can really see how I have to move. Well, what will be my force? And the same I can do also for temperature. That are my temperatures. So I can see the temperature here, 20 degrees, 17 degrees. Huh? So it's very nice. And uh, there are more um, layers so that I can, for example, find out what is my tight. So which means here, this is a good for a forecast, is what will be the tight of my um, of the uh, of the uh, position I am. So there are also visibilities. We can see this. If we have fog. So as you can see, the wave height. Um, uh, we can see what is sometimes important, the dew points. Uh, so if I have uh, sensitive cargo on board, um, that is an, it's a, it's a, it's a very, very important one. You see, there's a lot of, um, a lot of uh, uh, parameters, what I can find out. That means uh, the uh, what is important for me, though I can get it later on. Good gentlemen, if you have seen, that is actually all. Um, we have uh, just uh, saw the um, how to use the how to use the uh, geostrophic wind scale, and actually I uh, like to say thank you that you were watching. Uh, this video and uh, 
please now train by yourself that you get more familiarized to using the wind scale. That means the geostrophical wind scale.